breaking news from the Justice Department, perjury charges coming. Well, well, well dot dot it seems we were right all along. The Department of Justice is making comparisons between disgraced former FBI Director James Comey and his unauthorized memo leaked to the New York Times via his friend and WikiLeaks according to Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton. This confirms what many Republicans and conservatives believed all along. The Comey memos contained classified material that Comey was absolutely not authorized to share. According to Judicial Watch, Judicial Watch announced today that the Justice Department is now comparing former FBI Director James Comey to WikiLeaks. After Comey was fired by President Trump on May 9, 2017, he gave the New York Times a February 14, 2017, memorandum written about a one-on-one -on -one conversation he had with President Trump regarding former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Comey testified under oath before the U.S. Senate Select Committee on Intelligence that he authored as many as nine such memos about his one-on-one -on -one conversations with President Trump. He also admitted, regarding the Flynn memo, I asked a friend of mine to share the content of the memo with a reporter, for the New York Times, I asked him to because I thought that might prompt the appointment of a special counsel. The New York Times published a report about the memo on May 16, 2017. In its court filing opposing the release, the Justice Department also asserts that some of the Comey memos contain classified material. The DOJ is now challenging the veracity of Comey's testimony and it is possible Comey may be charged with perjury as a result. Comey testified under oath that he did not leak any classified information or any government documents to the media. These current findings directly contradict Comey's testimony under oath before Congress back in June when Comey plainly stated that his memos were simply his personal notes about his conversations with and about President Trump. They were therefore not government documents or classified material. Comey has repeatedly shown he lacks testicular fortitude as well as any sort of basic moral compass with regard to holding the Clinton crime family accountable for their reign of terror over Washington and the rest of America when in the midst of a tense presidential campaign he refused to prosecute Hillary Clinton for her use of a private email server while she was Secretary of State. He also refused to prosecute during the Whitewater scandal as well as other instances appointing himself as a protector of sorts for the Clintons and allowing them to continue to function above the law. The transcript of the testimony Comey gave before Congress while being questioned by Senator Roy Blunt, our Mo, clearly demonstrates what appears to be perjury- Blunt, you said, after you were dismissed, you gave information to a friend so that friend could get that information into the public media. Comey, correct. Blunt. What kind of information was that? Wasn't that, P.H., what kind of information did you give to a friend? Comey, that the, the, the Flynn conversation, that the president asked me to let the, the Flynn, I'm forgetting my exact own words, but the, the conversation in the Oval Office. Blunt, so you didn't consider your memo or your sense of that conversation to be a government document? You consider it to be somehow your own personal document that you can share with the media as you wanted to? Comey, correct. I. Blunt, through a friend? Comey, I understood this to be my recollection, recorded, of my conversation with the president. As a private citizen, I felt free to share that. I thought it very important to get it out. Blunt. So were all of your memos that you've recorded on classified or other documents memos that might be yours as a private citizen? Comey, I'm sorry, I'm not following the question. Blunt, well, I think you said you'd used classified, a classified. Crosstalk. Comey, not the classified documents. Unclassified, I don't have any of them anymore. I gave them to the special counsel. But, yeah. My view was that the content of those unclassified, the memorialization of those conversations was my recollection recorded. According to the DOJ, more than half of the memos Comey wrote during his private conversations with President Trump have been determined to have contained classified information and therefore could be construed as government documents by this definition. As a matter of fact, the DOJ even confirms that Comey was well aware of this fact 
as more than half of the memos in question were labeled as classified or as government documents. According to The Hill, more than half of the memo's former FBI Director James Comey wrote his personal recollections of his conversations with President Trump about the Russia investigation have been determined to contain classified information, according to interviews with officials familiar with the documents. This revelation raises the possibility that Comey broke his own agency's rules and ignored the same security protocol that he publicly criticized Hillary Clinton over in the waning days of the 2016 presidential election, Comey insisted in his testimony he believed his personal memos were unclassified, though he hinted one or two documents he created might have been contained classified information. But when the seven memos Comey wrote regarding his nine conversations with Trump about Russia earlier this year were shown to Congress in recent days, the FBI claimed all were, in fact, deemed to be government documents. While the Comey memos have been previously reported, this is the first time there has been a number connected to the amount of memos the ex-FBI chief wrote. Four of the memos had markings making clear they contain information classified at the secret or confidential level, according to officials directly familiar with the matter, FBI policy forbids any agent from releasing classified information or any information from ongoing investigations or sensitive operations without prior written permission, and it mandates that all records created during official duties are considered to be government property. Unauthorized disclosure, misuse, or negligent handling of information contained in the files, electronic or paper, of the FBI or which I may acquire as an employee of the FBI could impair national security, place human life in jeopardy, result in the denial of due process, prevent the FBI from effectively discharging its responsibilities, or violate federal law, states the agreement all FBI agents sign. In response to the explosive announcement made by the DOJ regarding Comey's unauthorized leak of classified information as well as his subsequent perjury, Fidham stated, How can this Justice Department defend its position that memos written for pernicious purposes to target a sitting president with a criminal investigation should remain secret? Mr. Mueller may have an interest in protecting Comey, but the public's interest demands transparency about Comey's vendetta against President Trump.